We actually cracked the gate, haven't left home since I was a kid and before the UTA locked down the outer fringe worlds. As impressive as it might be to you, this is elementary compared to what's ahead. A big project for the UTA, we came across tightened class warp gates. Only the flagship was able to power them, but we never saw them get used. Supposedly, they required a titan beam to generate the energy required. I'm sure by now there's a uh, dozen of them between us and the core. Sadly, your optimism has little merit. Cool story, bro. Indeed, the Titan B mechanism isn't beyond my understanding, but acquiring the parts will be problematic. We need a focus crystal. We need some local scans. On the other hand, Admiral Jameson is posted at the UTA base in this system and he owes me a favour. Admiral Jameson, have you gone batshit crazy? Don't you remember the other day when we destroyed a whole pile of attack ships? Carlos right. The UTA colonies are as isolated as everyone else. They have no idea what's going on beyond their gates. Off come the training wheels, and that is the end of the tutorial. Sweet, so now we are off. I also, while I was doing some mining, I also did one of the um, quests for the UTA, uh, sorry, for the uh, civvies, which in did involve getting rid of some um, UTA patrols, and it had a tug, so now I have one of these bad boys. It's a cargo ship. It's a bloody good one. And for this one, I reckon we should talk to the UTA. Because they will have plenty of other bonuses. Better engine, better armor, better missiles. How SRMs, they're nice. They're a decent launcher, but we can't have them yet, I believe. And they don't particularly fancy us. So let's check out the UTA here is said. Carl, you son of a bitch, is that you? It's been a long time, yet still not nearly long enough. What the hell do you want? Greetings, how's the depth perception? Have I still remember the incident with the ambassador's wife a while back? Of course you do, my prolonged silence is going to cost you yet again. We just need to dock and use a scanner. Roll you bastard, do your damn scans and get the hell out. Dock at the station. And of course, this is a mining one, so we can't really do much. Actually, I'm going to decline. Fortunately, it does kick us out. What can we get? Can we afford it? We cannot report afford any repairs otherwise. Completed scans. Able to stash away a few office supplies, including a Delta glass side vessel. At any rate, a sortable iron crystal that we could amplify for the Titan Gate beam. Sweet. Okay, it is here. We need to focus. Uh, what is this? This is a patrol versus patrol thing. There's a light conflict. Intervene at your own risk. They can, um, perhaps. It's easy to place to get some friendly fire. All ships collided with an asteroid. Former acquaintances are aware. The science team. And of course, since this is a bigger ship, it has also got a bigger mount. Oh dear. Quite loud. Uh, that was, yep. So, it has a bigger, more powerful laser, despite being of the same type. I think, at least. I could be wrong. I, I am not wrong at all. We have some turtle heads going on here. I would perhaps prefer them over my um, boomerangs precisely because they also have some missiles and I do love me some of those. Of course there's some random uh, background messages, a little bit of flavour for the game, I do love it for that. There's a few types of cargo ships, um, well, ships, right? There's the combat ships, fast and or big and mighty. There's cargo ships like this one. There's also habitat ships, which have a increased uh, amount of well, cargo, um, crew capacity instead of cargo. What the hell is that? Are those people? Well, you're looking at what's left of my old ship. Half-finished experiments, I'm going to mock. 
truly amazing. No samples, only destruction. What a crazy thing that is. It's a mutated old ship, but no match. It also hasn't got any um, shields, so our lasers are a bit wasted on it. And that bloody thing is fast. Jesus Christ. Thankfully, thankfully the tug managed to deal with it. Now that you're happy with the decision, but we could let that thing live. Enough problems as it is without adding space zombies to the list. Of course, this is just about space pirates, of course. As the title implies, there are no zombies. Right? Right? Right, of course, I do want more better missiles. That leaves us with one. Of course, the tug also has a turret. Essentially just a, a rotating target. Pretty nice. There's several types. There's a double turret, a smaller size, but you have two of them. There's also a fixed turret mod, which gives a even bigger size. Stealth Leech, Triple Mount, Stealth Iron, various things to top um, the turrets that basically automatically target. Torpedo Rack. So we, I do, I will like this thing in the future. Subsystems, boosters, they boost boosters and subsystem beams like tractors. Point defenses, well, incoming missiles will get shot down. For now, I think I will boost my turret. Just once. Okay, so this is our target where we're going next. And a data level 18. A bit of a ways away, we're not quite there yet. So let's work out in. Actually, I do believe that's kind of all there is to it. Right, okay, so for now. I think we can head to the uh, UTA system, UTA base rather, there's two type, two ways to deal with the blockades. We could, oh there's a clock detector, there's something in the area that is clocked. The clock detector will begin to flash. The more rapidly it flashes, the closer it is. A crude but reliable way to detect a clock without the uh, proper subsystems. Mines and mine generators for the most part. Of course, we are friendly to it, so it shouldn't be a problem. Bribe wait, bribe wait gate guards. Right now, we can't do that, but I'm going to get some level ups first. Uh, right, level eight. I think this is the wrong one. Right, level 10 one. Right, we have upgraded our engines, so I'm going to refit every ship and then we will check out if I've unlocked the right one. If not, no biggie. We can and perhaps I think I will improve my situation a little bit in the sense that I could just get more missiles. And system map. Oh, yeah, that was the right one. What can we get here? Oh, heavy armor. And some disruptor cannons, beam boosters. Did I get the disruptor cannon? Where is it? Right, the security base is down there. So, I'm going to also bribe the level 8 one. To Wolf 359. And look how much faster we are. That is really nice. Bribe gate. Oh, not enough goons. Oh, yeah, you need goons to bribe them with. Okay, never mind. Uh -huh. So we do need to do some other stuff first here. All right, so that is civil relations up. We are not going to do that. Goon reward and the civil reward. We can actually get some mixed ones here. Destroy some toxic barrels. 
of course, they are our enemies, so they will fight us. And we will fight them back, sort of ironic. Perhaps a kind of a backstab thing. Oh look, the UTA attack uh, attack ships have come to stop us from taking destroying this garbage. But thankfully, don't come don't come across with that. But thankfully, since we are friends with them, they're instead attacking the turtle head. How nice! Ah, oh, never mind. The UTA relations have indeed decreased. So they really don't like us taking out the trash. Quite unfortunate. There are a couple of barrels left. I'm just going to start lo launching uh, missiles. Ten left. They're very unhappy with how we're treating this field of rubbish. Sweet, civil relations have increased. However, UTA is still our friend. Because this is just a misunderstanding, clearly. And of course, the darts can't escape missiles. Lovely. Oh, there's a, uh, a science vessel, a gopher. It's a tiny one, so really just for completion is sake. I think that's kind of the main reason to have any of them. Sweet, we've leveled up and cloned 15 goons. Excellent. Oh, I do love this kind of mopping up. Sweet. Okay, so we have some more. Ah, oh, well. Ooh, look at that. We have an array. I'm not sure what kind of ship, I don't recall what kind of ship this was. Not a mining or a gooey ship, but uh, just something. Sweet. Okay, we got some res, we got some data. Sweet. So, right, what have this base got? An SRM launcher. What can we afford? Some better missiles. SRMs are just swarm missiles. They look cool. But then I don't, I personally don't think they're very good. Of course, personal opinion. But it is what it is. But for now, even bigger missiles. Which is exactly what we're improving here. Right, Brave Warp Gate Guards, Wolf, back to menu, Black Market, bam. We now have fancy missiles T to replace our crappy surplus ones. Medium micro missile. Okay, medium is the uh, slot size. I just bigger slots are more more oomph. Oh look, it, it makes us one res more expensive. So the refit is an extra point of a res. So, the star map, we have a level 8 system, slightly more powerful, which will also come with more XP. Listen up and listen well, as I'm only going to say this one time, the UTA might not be able to stop you, but we certainly and easily can. This sector is ours. You're required 
to pay us whenever we see fit to ask of you. Make an error in judgment against us and you will be erased. If you want to earn our respect, come by one of our bases and we'll talk. We have special events. Right, so we have bounty hunters, space pirates and zombies and bounty hunters. The, the full title of this game are global mercenaries. They reside within their stronghold bases and they operate within star systems that contain it. And immediately connected to it. Every move you make within the territory will be watched. Bounty hunters have been known to extort or attack ships that travel through the territory. The greater your bounty and the closer you are, the higher the threat will become. And of course, and if we fight them off, well, it's just the, another way to pay off the bounty. Warning requires you to attack the UTA targets that are neutral to us, so perhaps let's not do that. UTA targets, Thrasheeb. We will have to fight UTA, and I don't want that. Civ Threat minus one. Take out and take out. Okay, it won't improve our UTA relations, but it will make the Civs weaker. It does, it's, um,. They're not mutually exclusive. We don't have to fight the fight the UTA and lose our reputation with them. And look, we have some cool blue missiles now. They're harder, they're better, they're faster, and they are stronger. So should be easy to deal with these little rascals that are trying to. Cause us some trouble. Ironically, we end up being the first one to lose our ship, but I wasn't. The big tug wasn't um, trying to take part in the action, and some of their death screams are quite loud. They say in space no one can hear you scream, but Jesus Christ, you, you really can't be heard. Let's get rid of the gyro. Are we actually low on power? And that is a Togdell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, regroup you bastards. Alright, we do have the cannons. The turtle head should not be a problem, especially once the tug gets reconstructed. Like so. Change target to the turtle head. And jump into the action. Science level is eight, so uh, ours is what is ours? I'm not sure even seven. So technically, they are more advanced than we are. Both the civis and the UTIs. All right, we are actually running a bit low. Oh god, we're low on power as well. That sucks. Right, just get get the turtle head down and we, then we can 2v1 the hound. Oh, there's a goddamn gyro. Jesus Christ. Should be easy pickings. Now that the shields are down, it's okay. Right. We'll keep our distance while our everything is getting repaired. And we get rid of the shields for that thing. It has quite a bit of help. I think let's do some research here. What can we do? I think armor perhaps. And hull. I think that will be a decent combination. Yes, let's do that. Obviously, it'll be for the future. Oh, he's got, actually got even got medium armor. Sheet. Right. Thankfully, we do have a mining base as our first one. So if I mess up. I should be a liver, but uh, actually, let's 
we okay the big one is down bam and that leaves just the tiny glass oh god that's another one all right so i'm actually going to send this thing to repair both of them to repairs Sweet, and we have our third turtle head back. Second turtle head. A surplus yacht. Oh, we did manage to get some of the missiles dealt with. Which is a good thing for the turrets, the beams, they're good at that kind of thing. Have they, have they got a point defense or something? I think it's important to bully the, the ships as they come. So, we can use their uh, res. As they throw out. Oh, look at that. We have some specialists. Can be placed in command positions. Specialist has a unique set of skills. Will increase if they are active. Higher level systems will have higher level specialists with better base skills. Some are, of course, better than others by default. Sweet. We have two new specialists. Actually, the one we have one. Right, a rookie, friendly fire forgiven. And once they level up, we'll also have some faster engines. Oh, it's down there, but yeah, we're going back to the beacon so we can just drop off our resources, which we do not have any of. And let's proceed with the crates. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. Here come the gyros. Here come the cavalry, so let's fight off the hound. Well, let's see if we can make a little bit of progress while we're doing it. Got improved shields, as long as that helps. Improved, actually, improved the hull and armor, so never mind. But thankfully, shouldn't be a problem too much. Okay, that's the big die. And one of ours is gone as well. So, actually, before it's done building, I'm going to be a little bit cheeky, cheeky and fast. And let's see, what can we get here? Can upgrade beams, but I'm going to go for bigger shields, I think. Actually, no, reactors. Because at least mine, my tug, is actually running out quite fast. Right. Okay, this is taking quite a while. And I can't actually afford... Actually, now I can afford sweet. Star infrastructure has been destroyed. Right, where's our allies? Right, the grasshopper is nearly dead, so I think that would be a good target. Actually, run away. Do not reconstruct that tug here. Fly to the mothership. Whew! That was, um... Quite the task. Beacon and Basher do not want that. Thrashy. Nope. Nope. Okay, CV Patrol. That should be an easy one.
Cause your eyes really do pop in space. A conflict event occurs when the local factions can't get along most of the time. No particular reason. Great place to earn some black boxes. And of course, smash some enemies off. I've also switched to uh, cannons. As you can see, the level 2 ones finally got some disruptors. Yeah, what's the distance? Right. Actually, everything's a bit annoying, so let's intercept that turtle head. Yeah, even though we got cannons and missiles, we've got no issues deal dealing with the lasers. So it's all good. That is all good. Okay, I think that's everything here. That was a quick one there. Trash sheep, UTA patrol, we don't want to kill those. Crossing guard, UTA lifts up. Trying to pick up a supply ship. Oh, an escort mission. That is great. Rendezvous with the escort. Right, I'm going to get those missiles done. Come on, go off so we'll just stay a little bit faster. Ah, I'm sure that'll help. And here it is. It's a tug as well, so it's a pretty feisty ship. Is it actually following me? I think it is. So it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, yeah, it is following me. Ow, friendly fire. Sorry about that, shippy. And right, that is a turtle head. Damn, right. Where is our. Oh my god, we are so fast. Come on. Right, second wave of goons. That's arrived. Oh god, friendly fire. That is always so annoying. They're not classed as allies, so we have to live with that. Can of course body block to take. It's less our shield to take damage. But for now, I think I'm going to launch missiles from a distance and lure it over to me. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Yeah, this turning rate does have some benefits in the sense that I can shoot around them. Just like that. Sweet. Come on. Come on, you slow bastard. Careful. That was a close shave. Oh. <laughs> that was... Either side. <sighs> Sweet, okay. It's retreating. And here comes the level up. Sweet. Okay, right, I think that's our data level. Data level is eleven. So I think Right, actually, let's scoop up this stuff while we can. And let's head forwards to the danger level 10, Omega Norming. Ah, oh, the bounty hunters are a bit forward there, that's why we didn't get bothered by them here. Boosters, they improve our booster modules, they can be placed on any mount. Not very, uh, the B one, not very good for us. 
I'm sure there'll be others. Oh, there's a crew booster. Adds additional crew quarters. Yep, yeah, seems about right. And nothing here uh, of use. This media. Oh, I, hang on, there's, is there anything in CV base here? Nope. I'm afraid not. What about here? Heavy armor. Darn. Okay, right. Who likes us and who doesn't? Right, the CVs do kind of like us. Ah, oh, look at that. Bounty. Acquire attack UTA targets that are friendly to you, but they're not very friendly and don't really care about the booster modules. Good, good res, good data, good goons. And it will increase series strength and relations, so they perhaps will give us some cheaper stuff. Destroy the UTA target. Sweet. Okily dokily. And we have a grasshopper that joins us from the CV side. Bam, get up close, get to backstabbing. We were never friends. Sweet. And that's one of them dealt with. Another one rather, of course. Bam. Oh, and what's that? Just some scouts. Let's get some goons for repair purposes. And they will get mowed the heck down. Sweet. Right, that's the, this way we've dealt with, which just leaves another one. And some pesky dust. Thankfully, now that we've got our good missiles, the quick flying darts aren't really an issue. Look at that. Nice try. Yep, try to run away. But it's quite difficult to run away from rockets missiles without any point defenses. Bam. Oh, there's an assault fleet with a tug. Oh, that's a big and mighty ship with some surplus missiles. And we have another one of these, right, specialist. What's this? Mass bomb damage, right? We don't have those. So, nothing doing there. Oh, look, this surplus tug firing its surplus missiles. Oh, how unfortunate. Bam. Sweet. And we've leveled up again. Sweet. Research, I'm actually going to... I think I will save. Okay, we have some bombs. Unlocked bombs, drones and mines. Essentially the final stuff. Special weapons, a select few ship pulls can support. The bomb needs to heat up. It will become more devastating. But it will burn out ex its explosive potential. Tons of friendly fire. They are beautiful, but they... I find them a bit clumsy to use. Never been a big fan. I prefer launches. And I reckon I will keep on improving them. Right, can I get, put a point, a single one, somewhere? Actually, no. I, need, I can put two points, because I will need level four. So what can I improve? That's a single point. Crew, perhaps? Don't, don't think it matters that much. System map. What are the shops? Nothing of use there. Heavy armor there. And of course, it's a mining one. Ok, 
Okay, that is a level 13 place. I've got a level 12. So, the blockade we want. Right, what is up there? There's a star map. We can't see any what's there, so let's do the blockade. Just in case there's anything of interest. And of course, we'll get some data on the way. Right, one game down, the, I believe the tug auto targeted. Sure, should be fine. Just go for the biggest one. Some more power would be nice because I am running quite low. Quite annoying. Perhaps some kind of booster in one of the tractor beam slots would be nice. But not really necessary right now. We are dealing with the troubles. Good. And of course, the missiles are very cheap too. Well, they don't really cost much power. I don't really know if there's anything to. They actually are troubled in the slightest. And that is the tug does this. We are risking bounty hunters here. Right, what have we got here? SRMs from... Okay, the security base. Point defense. Cloaked fighter drones. Interesting. Right, point defense level 3 subsystems. Right. Good versus hull, multiple warheads, weak versus shields. I think now nah, it's not really bother too much. Let's keep our attacking UTA. Bad influence. I destroy both of them, don't fancy that. And look at that. UTA patrol. Right, that's one dealt, dealt with. Easy. I'm sure there'll be a tug or something. I'm not worried. Nothing to worry about there. Just get the dart. Also, the turrets do have some prediction ability, which is nice. Did he even get a chance to run away? Nearly at a level up, I think. Yeah, we can upgrade these subsystems a little bit. Right, and we'll still have one point enough. One point spare that we can't really use anywhere. Alright, let's get the blockade done. Should be good, should be just enough for the levels. We're right, another level, and we have the goal as our first target, as provided by our well, automatic targeting. Quick pickings, excellent. Right, Inace has leveled up, our specialist, so our friendly fire is a bit more forgiven. Given more. Kind of useless, I have to admit. Sweet. Research, launchers, more damage, more speed, more turning, max health and quicker reloads. Excellent. Sweet. What is in the star map here? A Tharaster engine, great top speed, not a lot for side and rear thrust. Not good for close combat. I think it is a good pick though. But the security base doesn't fancy us. Right then, uh, what was in here? Uh, fighter drones, point defense. I did fancy. I do fancy the point defense actually. So I'm going to pop off there and grab it real quick. Ambient event. They pop off from time to time. There's no particular objective. They have some very Valuable sources that are, I guess, possible to exploit. There's an observation post, so let's check it out. I mean, there's this stuff. 
some uh, data just left lying around. Not really much to it. Oh yeah, there is, are these things, like blue whatevers. Actually, yeah, they have some more data and they have some more explosions, but other than that, they don't really contain much. Right, are there any other tussles? I would like to boost our UTA relationships, because I would like to just... Eh, I guess not really. Eh, whatever. Let's go to the star map. Danger level 13. The civvies are our friends here. The UTA don't care much about us. They do have the thruster engine. But they are quite tough, so let's not bother. Let's just do a fight. Reinforced by the high UTA strength in the system. 